doubt now the Jap shot down the clipper to get Marling and his party. It looks that way. And if he's alive, they'll torture the man in secret out of him. In that case, I'd rather see him dead. That secret can mean the difference between winning and losing. I know. And I don't believe in miracles. But I wish one would happen. Your first visit to the outside world hasn't been a very pleasant one, has it, Marling? Well, it surely hasn't been monotonous. Shot down by Japs, imprisoned in a sub-tender, and finally escaping in this eggshell. My chief regret is that we had to leave Martin and Wing Lee aboard the Japanese ship. Jack had some wild scheme. He'd take over the ship's radio and warn Pearl Harbor that the Japs mean to attack without declaring war. Z-4 calling headquarters. Z-4 calling headquarters. The Starling's flying the Jap flag now. She is, huh? Bearings, please, and stand by for correction. of us staying here to commit Harakiri Wing. The same idea occurred to me. Let's go. Looks as though Jack did what he promised. But at what he cost to himself. Must have had a chance to jump. I'm glad we followed them. Hey, Wing, that looks like our sailboat. You try, Slick. Yes. I'm afraid I can't make it. We got into this together, and that's the way we'll go around. Put your hand on my shoulder and swim easily. There they are. Jack, Wing. So luck was with us, and we made it. I guess we both believe in miracles now, eh? And how, 100%. Right. Uh, now about this treaty. Of course, I have authority to sign it, but uh, I admit that I'm rather hazy about it. Ma Ling, the most important person rescued through Captain Martin's bravery and cleverness, is governor of a Chinese province over against the Himalayas. Oh, you deserve the praise, Captain Martin. Uh, yes, uh, Captain Wing. Uh, well, sir, a secret route from China to India runs through Mandan, Ma Ling's state. Is that fact or fairy tale? If Ma Ling says it's a fact, it's a fact. Then uh, why hasn't he given it to China? His people want no traffic with the outside world, and he demands guarantees the road be closed after the war. China and Great Britain have already promised. Why does he want the United States to sign? Well, up until yesterday, he wanted us to sign as a disinterested nation. Now, of course, he wants us to sign as an ally. I see. Well, as vital as this is, do you suppose you could persuade Ma Ling to postpone our conference? Yesterday's treachery has left me swamped. As a matter of fact, he rather expects postponement. He understands. Well, that ends my part in the matter. Now for the good old USA in the uniform. I'm sorry, but I have orders to the contrary. You're to stay with Ma Ling as his special envoy until he is safely back in Mandan. But America needs aviators. And I want to drop some eggs on those Japs. We need you more on this job. Ma Ling himself suggested it. Well, orders are orders. Will you detail some policemen to stand guard until we leave? Worried over the black samurai? They'll go to any length to kill him before he signs that treaty. Well, I'll do it if it'll relieve you any. But after yesterday, all Japs are under control. And that should include any member of the black samurai. I wonder if there's a good jeweler in town. What on earth do you want a jeweler for? <laughs> Marling's been so nice about letting me take pictures and giving me new scoops. I'd like to show him I appreciate it. It's a nice thought. Why don't you ask the desk? That's a good idea. Hello? Would you give me the desk, please? Hello? 
I wonder if you could recommend a reliable jeweler. What was that? Blanker? John Blanker? Has he a phone? Thank you. Would you get me John Blanker at Crest 4565? Did you find one? You never can tell. I didn't bring some... Hotel Hilo. Die Gertrude Miller? Fräulein van Teufel. Yes, Fräulein. I, I mean, yes, Miss Miller. How can I serve you? I wonder if you could bring over some samples of your work to the hotel sometime today. Within the hour? That would be fine. I'll be expecting you. Goodbye. He sounds stupid enough to be really good. Fräulein von Teufel, the head of the German Black Samurai. And she has worked for me. Her Johann Blanker. It's all beautiful. Oh, Janet, this would look lovely on you. Do you mind if I try them on? Certainly not. What I really want is a duplicate of this for a friend who's admired it. Can you make a replica of it? Yes, I believe I can duplicate it. It must be able to stand close examination. I have an artist friend, an oriental named Han Po. He will make you a perfect facsimile. Don't you do your own artwork? I am an artist, not a goldsmith. I used to be an actor. Now I design. And my work is always satisfactory. Good. Keep the locket. I will give you a check on account. Is Madame interested in buying? I don't think so. I was just indulging in a little wishful thinking. If you should change your mind, here's my card. Thank you. You will have to hurry. We may only be here a couple of days. Thank you, madam. We'll be finished before you expect it. Stand guard until we're late. Don't let anyone enter without first checking with us. Yes, sir, I understand. Who is it? Wing and Jack. Well, then you can go off duty now, Tommy. We've brought a couple of police guards. Good. Your Excellency, my country's anxious to sign the treaty, but has asked for a day's delay. Yesterday's bombing raid has thrown all government offices in a turmoil. It could not be otherwise. And patience has long been a virtue of my people. Is there anything we can do for your excellency? Nothing, thank you. Well, we'll get the girls and have some lunch. You are Han Po? That is my unworthy name. I was right. If you are from the police, I've done nothing. I'm not from the police. Are we alone? No one can see nor hear. You are listed as a loyal subject of Japan. Who are you to come to my poor shop and accuse me of being Japanese? The sign of the Black Samurai. Yes, I am a loyal subject of Japan. 
Then you would be willing to undertake a mission against their enemies. You have only to order. It will be dangerous. It may even cost you your life. I am willing to take that risk. I knew I could count on you. Close the shop, lower the blinds. We must have privacy. Sit down. Hair too dark. Nose a little out of proportion. That can be remedied. Chief sent us up to relieve you. We're not supposed to go off duty yet. He said he wanted all regular police on street patrol. We're on special just for this case. Okay. What do you want this uh, put? I really do not know. May I ask what is that? Sit down. Open the box. for Wu Tan. I had a hunch something like this would happen. You were ordered not to leave that door until you were relieved. We were relieved before our shift was up. Seemed funny, so I checked and found the chief hadn't sent any relief. How did this happen? We have no idea. Several men delivered a large box. When I asked them what it was, they struck me over the head with a gun. I... This man is not Ma Ling. Wait a minute. Don't phone headquarters. Why do you say this man's not Ma Ling? That ring. Well, it's still there. Yes, but it is reversed. You would never do that. It has a religious significance. It doesn't seem possible. This man's a perfect double for Ma Ling. Not quite. There was a gentleness in Marlene's face. There's none in his. I don't get it at all. I'm beginning to. They wanted Marlene so they could question him and didn't want us to look for him. So they brought this man here in a box and killed him before they took Marlene away. Have you any idea who this man is? No, but there's a chance he has a police record. Check his fingerprints, and if you find out anything, phone us. Yes, sir. The police must be mistaken. No human being can think of a plan so cruel, not even a Jap. Haven't you forgotten something, Trudy? How about Fräulein von Teufel or the Black Samurai? Why, they... Excuse me. Hello? Speaking. Oh, wait a minute. What's that name again? Han... Po. A little carpenter shop on the waterfront, yeah? Number seven... Corporate Dark. Right. Meet you there. There's a man named Han Po suspected of being a Jap. I'm going to meet the police down at his shop. I'm going along, too. Coming, Trudy? No, I think I've had all I can stand for one day. You 
you have had no doubt of burning bamboo splints under the fingernails as a means of securing secrets from a stubborn prisoner? One of the higher of the few Japanese arts, I believe. Mm -hmm. And a very effective one. Yes? Yes, Furland and Title. Yes, I have them here. What? The police. Don't worry, they won't find him here. I have a car outside. I'll take him to my place in the hills. They had him here and were about to torture him. They must have just left. They didn't get out the front way. I'll try the back. This hand pull was only small fry. If only we had one clue to some of the higher-ups. Han Po. I knew I'd heard that name before today. The jewelry designer mentioned him. What jewelry designer? The one the hotel recommended to Trudy. He said Han Po could make a locket she wanted. This doesn't look like a goldsmith shop. Do you remember his name? No. Yes, I do. He gave me his card. There was a car pulling out of the alley, but it was too far ahead to catch. The policeman is trying to commandeer a car to follow, but it looks hopeless. Janet's found a clue. Come on, I'll explain on the way. That jewelry designer may be mixed up in it. What? Flanker? Yes. The boys are on their way to his house now to question him. You should have got sight of him by now if we're on the right lead. Probably a dozen roads to his place. You'll excuse me. I think I'll go and lie down for a minute. Too much excitement, I guess. You must act quickly. Blanker is on his way home with the prisoner. And Martin and his two friends are following fast. I understand, Fraulein. And thank you. Leoda, get to the bridge. Let Blanker's car pass. Then use the emergency rig to stop the one following. 